Hey guys, Jake from State Farm. Stop it right now. You're not gonna, dude, okay, come on. <laughs> All right, so hey, check it out. This is our KRX 24 light kit. Um, it's made for the KRXs, the KRX4s, and honestly, we've been selling this for over two years, just have not done a good install video on it. Um, it's actually hard to install. So um, if you're gonna install this, we always tell people, hey, you better be good with your hands and have some, have some good tools. So, or have, hey, a good, good drinking buddy come over. Um, go over to his garage, whatever, and get some things done. But um, it's not too bad to do. So today I'm gonna show you how to do it with um, basic tools that are around here and, and I think most shops, but um, it's, you know, it takes attention to detail. So on the, ta on the table, you're gonna see it. This is our KRX24 LED light kit. It is a spot beam. Um, you know, so it's not gonna go sh out sh super far in lightning distance. It's just gonna be a nice spread out glow. It's gonna come with your brackets, your screws and everything else. So I just installed these and screwed these brackets onto the side of this thing. And basically it's a 10 millimeter, which is you're gonna need a wrench for both sides. You're gonna set it all flat on the table and just kind of lightly grab and snug these down. Now you don't wanna get them too tight right now. But one thing you notice too is their tabs are gonna point in towards the back of the light. So that's basically that. Um, the first thing you'll notice me do is I'm gonna start cutting out these fins here. And for me, I'm just gonna use a basic four and a half inch cutoff wheel on a grinder. Um, I got decently steady hands, so let's hope that I don't uh, whack into, into my grill area, but I'll try real carefully to do that and then sand it down with the flap disc and then finally with the DA. So um, I'm gonna basically jump it right into that and get to that. But one of the first tricks I wanna show you guys are whether you guys own a KRX or a KRX4 is everybody knows that getting this hood on and off is kind of a pain in the ass. So I've got a trick for you guys. I'm gonna pull my hood off. And what you'll notice is you got three mounting points when you put these things on. You got the two in the front that, and then you got the one in the back. You're trying to match up three identical points at the exact same time. And that's why it's so tricky to get on. So a simple quick thing to do is just trim this one down. Remove about a quarter inch from here. So now when you go to put this thing on, you'll align the front two first. And then the back one, you can come in a quarter inch before you have to align the back one. So you can kind of move one hand and do other things, but it'll make a big difference. So I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that. Yep, so there's your tip and your trick. That's it, cut about a quarter inch off of there. Um, and man, let me tell you, it's a night and day difference of getting these things on and off because it gets so aggravating sometimes when you're doing things. But do not cut this all the way off. If any of you have ever noticed, you're towing it on the trailer behind you and you'll notice the only time it ever happens is when you're towing. You're doing 65, 80, we do 80 through uh, the extraterrestrial highway area and you'll notice the hood trying to lift up. It wants to fly off the car. This is the little part that's kind of help it hold it in. So only remove about a quarter inch, but that's that. And then now I'm gonna jump into doing the hood light with you guys. So first thing I'm gonna do is of course, grab a cutoff wheel. And I'm gonna try to come in here and just cut off these ridges a little rough. And I don't know if you guys are seeing when I'm doing it, but when I'm coming in, you might see the plastic rising because I'm trying to pull up a little bit to get the blade not to bite into the lower plastic. Okay, so now those ribs are cut out. So the next step is to sand them down just a little bit and I'll take out the flap disc for that. And everything up here is pretty smooth, so not much to do there.
Okay, that's it. That's what I'm going for. So what I'm trying not to do is you don't want to push down into this plastic and create a ridge because no matter what, if you sand this and you created a ridge, you're always going to see it. So I'm trying to leave a little bit of stand up, um, but not go down into it. So the next step is I will grab the DA sander or palm sander and you're just going to sand out this whole section. <laughs> sanding now if you guys see what I'm doing there you can't change the way it looks from cutting it out but if you just DA sand it then everything looks uniform and you may even see some of the ridges back in here where I can't get the sander but that's not a big deal and I'll show you why so now is going to be your next part of installing this light so you want to set it back in here like this and I got my push pins in the way there a little bit. But you're gonna kind of set in there like that. And as you can see, it's kind of it's kind of covering it up. So the next part of this install you're gonna to want to do, and I'm not gonna actually show you guys this because I'm not actually putting this this light on this car. I got something special for this area, um, but I had to get this far. But you want to remove your grill. So with the stock grill, you got two clips right here. You just pop them pull out your grill, and then your next step is you're gonna to wanna to take a uh, paint pin, colored uh, Sharpie or anything like that, I have a gold one, and just like that, you're gonna line up your light. You're gonna make sure it's equal from left to right, push it back, you can bring it back further if you want, you can bring it more forward if you want. It's all up to you guys what you want, but the next step would be take your little clips or little brackets that we mounted on the side, and you're gonna push them up into this, this area here. And from the inside, you're gonna mark your two holes and then pull out your light, drill up and through, mark out your two holes, and then you have your new screws, you have the big thick washers and everything else, and you just bolt it down right there. Just make sure it's straight and then go ahead and wire it in. So um, that's pretty much it for the install. I'll show you another quick thing on the hood. So lining up the fronts. And of course I can't get it in there. Bingo. Like I said, you can pull it. See, it's making me look like a jerk right now. These things, I tell you what, that's it. So as you saw, what one hand pushing, you can play with the other part. It's a little easier, but I did not make it look easy. I'm just saying, but hey, that's it. The lights are cool. They fit, and like I said, you can bring it back, you can bring it forward, you can do whatever you want to it, but uh, not the easiest install, but it is easy. If you got some power tools, you got a friend who can do it, that's awesome. So again, Jake from Full Access UTV. Me and my family much appreciate it, and please click that like and subscribe button, and uh, thanks for watching.